we think that we have to, because our Lord tells us we have to. We have to. Christ tells us you have to. You have to. You have to. But if you look, that's not actually. That's not actually true. Christ never says you have to pray. You have to do this. You have to do that. But He simply invites. He invites us to Him. The Lord never says you have to follow. But he says, if you love me, follow me. If you love me, come to me. If you love me, repent and come to me. You don't have to do anything. We have a choice even from God. We don't have to do anything. But if we love the Lord, then we follow him. If you love the Lord, then we come to him. If you love him, you follow him. Why simply send us an invitation? I came, he says, that you can have an eternal life. I can, I came, that you can have an eternal life. See, at the mother still called the Ashkenazi. When you go to Ashkenazi, hopefully next year many of us will go together. But his mother still called the Ashkenazi. At the residency of his holiness in Behar, as we call it, when you enter Behar, there are two set of stairs, one on the right side going up, one on the left side going up. But in the middle of those stairs, staircase, there is a huge and beautiful painting by Marcus Surenyans, an Armenian artist, well-known Armenian artist. He painted many icons for us for our church. Marcus Surenyans. It is a painting of Christ standing tall, painting of Christ standing tall, his arm stretched, his hand stretched, and he's looking at you as you enter the residency. He's looking at us as we enter the residency. No matter you take the right side of the stairs, the left staircase, he's looking at you. His arms are stretched to you. The painting is called, Come to Me, O for Women, and Carrying Heavy Burdens. I will give you rest. Come to me, all who are heavy, carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you, give you rest. An invitation from our Lord to come, to come to a clear invitation, clear direction. You come to me. No one else. It's not about anyone else next to you. It's about you come to me. Direct invitation from him to us. No precondition, no restrictions, no pressure, no judgment. God's invitation is good, and they are many. The bigger question is, how do we respond to God's invitation to us? See, Christ tells us a story today of how a certain man organized a beautiful thing. And he invited all of his guests, all of his family, and everyone received an invitation. Nobody was upset. Everyone received an invitation. The day of the banquet, the servants came and said, The time has come. The banquet is there. The Lord is waiting for you. Our Father is waiting for you. Come to the banquet. But one of them said, Well, everyone had an excuse. One of them said, I just hold this land, I have to take care of it. The other one says, I just got married, I have to take care of my wife. The other one says, I have something else to do, I have work to do. Excuses and excuses. Sunday is my only day I have to rest. Church is 35 minutes away. That's too far. Sunday is the only day my kids play baseball. I think not. I don't think there's a baseball game in the kingdom of God, by the way. But everyone had, a, had an excuse. Everyone had an excuse. And sometimes when it comes to us, comes to us, we have excuses as well. The doors are open every Sunday. The Lord Christ calls us an open invitation to all every Sunday to his banquet in the church. Come to me, says the Lord. Follow me, and I will give you, give you rest. An invitation to us every Sunday. 
See, when we hear the church bells, sometimes we think that, oh, the bells are showing the hour, maybe it's 2 o'clock, it's 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, but the bells, they have a different meaning for us, for the faithful for believers. When we hear the bells in Armenia, they are calling us. They are reminders of God's invitation to the banquet. They usually sing the bells and ring right before the service to remind all of us the banquet is about to begin. Hurry up. The banquet is about to begin. The Lord is waiting for you. Hurry up. The banquet is about to begin. They remind us of his urgency in that invitation as well. There is urgency in that invitation as well in the bells. Today's gospel says, Blessed is anyone who will eat bread in the kingdom. 